Okay, we're going to take a little while and work on this train wheel. Uh, the geometry is kind of complicated. There's a bunch going on here. So you might find yourself asking, wait a second, are you for wheel? Yes, I am. Let's get started. I've got a new part started uh, and a two-dimensional sketch. We're going to be revolving this. So uh, we're actually going to be doing this piece sideways. I'm going to start with a center line going up uh, 0.25 of an inch because that is the actual thickness of this piece. It is 0.25. Now from here, I'm going to draw a straight line just 1.5 across. It's just going to be sort of a reference line for us, and I'm going to end up trimming it after the fact. Now I'm going to begin here, which is a circle, 0.25 in diameter. So I'm going to draw a circle, 0.25. Now using this, which is the tangent constraint, I'm going to click that and click our straight line, which locks our uh, circle in tangent with that. Now when we look at this, the circle midpoint is one inch away from the center of this wheel. So we are going to dimension that, oops, dimension from the end point to that, one inch. And I'm going to delete these dimensions just to help you uh, see a little bit better what I'm doing here. So we've got that uh, made. Now next, we need to find out the diameter of this opening, which it's saying it's a 0 .280 through hole. So we are going to make a line straight up 0 0.25. And then dimension that, 0 0.280 divided by 2. 0 0.280 divided by 2. And there that got dimensioned. If you saw it moved my circle a little bit, we can tell it who's boss. Just go, wait a second, Mr. Circle. I said 1 inch right there. zero divided by two. There we go. Now our dimensions are back in shape. From here, I am going to draw a couple straight lines. There. And there. I can now trim my excess right there. Make sure I only got one straight line. There we go. And this is the outside of the tire, which is this portion. And now we need a straight line there and a straight line there. I'm going to put my first straight line right there. Second straight line right there. Our first straight line is for this feature. We can see that's 0.25 of an inch over uh, from our center point. So from there to there is 0.25. Then measure from here to here, which is 0.75. And my circle is misbehaving. I want that one. There we go. So here are our major features. Center line, uh, the opening for our hole, 0 0.25, 0 0.75, and one right there. Now the next thing we've got is a line running right between there which is this feature. And you can see it's 0.125 away from the back edge. So I am going to do a little bit of trimming right here. Trim away that, trim away that, trim away that. And we should be good to revolve right now. Click revolve. Oh, 
I forgot to trim some of my circle. So back to edit sketch. Trim away that. There we go. Revolve. Select that. Select my axis. And there we go, pretty much with a decent circle. Now you'll notice, however, though, this is a square feature right there where that is round. You can see that this says 0 0.0625 tick bubble radius. So what we're going to do is click fill it, 0 0.0625, clicky, 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 clicky. And that gives us our nice rounded shape that we wanted. Okay, so we've got pretty much our, uh, our wheel done. Now we have to work a little bit on this cutout pattern right here. So what we're going to do is actually put a two-dimensional, uh, create a 2D sketch in this flat area right there. And when we look at this, we will see, whoops, that there is a radius for this piece right here, which is 0.375, and a radius for that, which is 0.625. So what we're going to do is draw a circle from our origin, uh, 0.625 times 2, which gives us our outside piece, and 0.375 times 2, which gives us our inside piece. And we can see that this angle, these angles, are typically 30 degrees. So draw a line from here to the outside. Uh, and you can see that the first dimension is a numeric dimension, but I don't want that. I want a angular dimension, 105, right there. And then a line from there and that automatically figures out what I'm doing and it says 75 degrees which is exactly correct so that gives me the piece that I want I'm going to do some trimming here there we go finish the sketch extrude, but I want it cut at 0.125 and have that section coming out right there. Now using the circular pattern tool, I'm going to choose this, then choose my rotation axis, which I'll say right there, and we've got six features in there, so boom, we have the cutout. Now the last little bit that we've got to do right here is this are these two projections. We're going to first start with the larger uh, extrusion right here. We can see it sticks out at 0.375 and it is 0.25 in diameter. So create a 2D sketch right there. I am going to locate a circle, put it in 0.25. Click on my tangent constraint, and there it pops in there so that it's tangent to the outside circle. Click Finish Sketch, and we are going to extrude this out 0.375. So we've got that's sticking out there right now. Now next there's a smaller piece popping out which is uh, 0.125 in diameter and it sticks out 0.125. So create a 2D sketch on that. 0.125. Click finish sketch. Extrude it on out. 0.125. There we go. And you'll notice this has a hole in the center, 0 0.0625, and it travels in 0.25. So I'm going to create a 2D sketch on that now. Put in a point. 
finished sketch, put in a hole, and let's see, my diameter is 0 0.0625, and it travels in 0.25. So we got the hole there now. This is the finished wheel. Uh, I know I went fairly fast through it, but I'm sure you can absolutely accomplish this. When you're all said and done, you want to color the wheel to match your color scheme. So go ahead, stop this video, rewind, and replay as many times as you need in order to make your wheel.